Uh, welcome back, folks. Happy afternoon. Um, today, for our second video, we are going to do uh, some of the word problems off of the quiz review. And for this video, I really want to warn you strongly that you should not be watching this unless you have gone to the homework site and downloaded this exponential word problems dot doc and at least attempted those problems. Uh, don't watch this video if you haven't tried the problems. It's simple as that. You will learn more if you've tried the problems. Um, let's get straight into it. The world population in 2000 was 6.08 billion. The annual rate of increase was 1.26%. Write an equation for the population uh, of the world after X years, after 2000, blah. Um, so the starting amount is 6.08 billion. I'm just going to leave it as 6.08 and know that our answer is in billions. And I need to multiply by something to the x. This is exponential growth, which means the x is going to be in the power. That's how you model repeated percent growth. We've talked about this before. Um, so the question is, what's going to go in here? What, what number will fit in here? Uh, it might be tempting to put in 1.26, because that's the number I see. But remember what you have to do to fill in this number. Um, we call this the B or base value, and B, in general, is 1 plus the percent growth rate as a decimal. Which, uh, if you are mixing up your decimals and percents, you can find a percent as a decimal by doing the percent and dividing it by 100. That will give you that as a decimal. So 1.26% as a decimal translates to 0 0.0126. That's that percent rate as a decimal. So the B value that's going to go in here is this plus 1. So our final B value is going to be 1.0126. Okay. Now, based on our equation, so we'll write maybe population equals, how many years will it take until the population reaches 8 billion? So again, it says how many years? So are we trying to solve for x? Uh, we're going to plug 8 billion into the population. So uh, the setup is going to look like this. 8 equals 6.08 times 1.0126 to the x. Hmm. Well... There's one thing I know we can do right away, and that's divide by 6.08. So, so uh, doing that in our calculator, it's 1.3157. So we'll write 1.3157 equals 1.0126 to the x. I'm leaving a little space here because I'm about to do a log. Um, so to take uh, get this out of the base we need to do a log on both sides the log I'm going to do is uh, the same as the base of the exponent base of 1.0126 so on this side I'll cancel out and get x but I have to do the log base 1.0126 of 1.3157 to equal x so uh, on this page we're doing everything without a calculator um, or doing all the logs without a calculator, we're just setting them up because every calculator is different in how you enter the logs. Uh, go check a different video if you want to see exactly how to do your logs uh, in your calculator. But um, for now, just leave it like this uh, and then evaluate it later. C is how many years will it take for the population to triple? So 6.08 is the original population. So to figure out the tripling I can do that number times 3, and get 18.24. And then we'll just set up the similar equation. 18.24 equals 6.08 times 1.0126 to the x. Now a really cool thing is going to happen when I divide both sides by 6.08. Because the 18.24 came from multiplying 6.08 times 3, then this side is just going to become 3. So the 3 here is tripling. I get 3 equals uh, 1.0126 to the x. Um, translating this to logarithm form, again, we're going to get log base 1.0126 of 3 
equals x. Next problem. A computer valued at $3,000 depreciates at a rate of 18.5% per year. Write a value for the equation of the computer. All right, depreciate means losing value. So 18.5% is like negative 18.5%. So uh, we're going to need to find the B value, the base uh, of the exponential equation, by doing 1 minus 0 0.185. That's 18.5% as a decimal. Uh, and that's going to equal... Uh, 0 0.815, which means that there's 81.5% left over every time, every year that this uh, computer depreciates. So as an equation, we're going to do 3,000 times that 81.5% as a decimal, 815, to the x gives you a value in dollars. All right. After how many years will the computer be worth less than uh, one thousand dollars. Well, if we don't want to know when it's less than a thousand dollars, we can find out when it's exactly equal to a thousand dollars. So we'll write the equation: one thousand equals three thousand times point eight one five to the x. Um, again, let's divide by three thousand, and we'll get one third equals point eight one five to the x, and to solve for x, we uh, take a log. So converting this into log form, we're going to get, uh, as our final answer, log base 0.815 of 1 third equals x. And that would tell you the number of years that it would take. If you want to sell the computer for $2,000, how many years can you keep the computer before you should sell it? Uh, it's going to be a very similar setup. Uh, so we'll set up 2,000 equals 3,000 times 0.815 to the x. Uh, same process, we're going to divide by 3,000, and we're going to get 2 thirds equals 0.815 to the x. So uh, just like before, log base 0.815 of two-thirds will equal x. Number three, uh, there are 80 animals in a habitat, so the base is 80, and the rate is decreasing, or the, the population is decreasing, so I'm going to do 1 minus 0 0.035, um, which will give me 0 0.96. Five. Uh, one way, to, another way to think about this is that there's 96.5 percent of the animals remaining every year. So, uh, however you want to do it, this is 80 times 0.965 to the x. How many years will it be until the population drops below 60? Set the equation equal to 60. Uh, multiply by um, or 80 equals 0.965 to the x. So uh, divide by 80, and you're going to get um, 3 over 4 equals 0.965 to the x. And so that's going to mean that the log base 0.965 of 3 fourths will equal x. Once the population drops below 25, it will be in danger of going extinct. After how many years will this begin to happen? Well, population is 25. Equals the equation. Uh, I'm going to trust you guys to go ahead and solve this. I won't show you all the steps. Um, but skipping all the steps, you would get a final answer equivalent to something like this. We divide it by 80. Then we took the log uh, base 0.965 to isolate x. Last problem. Uh, you start a biology experiment with 5 million cells, and 45% of the cells are dying every minute. So if 45% are dying, that means that 55%
have to be left. And that's uh, together those percents add up to 100. So the base is going to be 0 0.55 to the x because it's talking about x minutes. And the initial value is 5 million. How many cells will there be after 20 minutes? Ah, this problem is a little tricky. Look back at the problem. It tells you that x represents the number of minutes. So unlike every other problem on this page, you're going to plug in 20 for x. So you'll do 50 million or 5 million. Get enough zeros times, whoa, times 0.55 to the 20th to get uh, the number of bacteria left. And then the last one says you'll be done with the experiment when there are less than 50 cells left. How many minutes will that take? This one is now back to asking how many minutes. So that means we're going to be solving for x. So uh, you'll set up 50 equals 5 million times 0.55 to the x, which uh, dividing by 500,000 or 5 million by 50, one of the zeros cancels out and the fives cancel out. So we get 1 over 100,000 is 0.55 to the x. Uh, and then we do the log again. So we're going to do log base of 0.55 uh, of 1 over 100,000 equals x. And yeah, it's kind of a gross thing. But again, this is something that you're just going to put in your calculator. Uh, I'm going to start seriously simplifying here uh, because every one of these problems really is almost exactly the same. So uh, with the missed fast problem, the percent as a decimal was 1.035 for the growth factor. Um, when it's 5,000, you set it equal, and you end up with a log. When you're asking how much it takes to double, well, double the money is 6,000, so that uh, is plugged in in place of the 5,000. Um, that reduces nicely to 2. And again, we notice that when she's talking about doubling, the thing that ends up in the log is just 2. That's one way that uh, logs are actually really convenient, is if you're trying to figure out how long it takes to double or triple or quadruple your money um, or any other thing that would quadruple quadruple or double. Um, logs are really nice for calculating that. Uh, and here's our answers to the last problem. Um, set up uh, 10 years is plug in 10 for x. And the last one, how long will, is it going to take to be worth 300,000? Um, notice that when you divide by 180,000, you are totally allowed to just cross out, cancel out four of the zeros. Uh, you don't have to carry all of those through, so 30 over 18 will give you the same answer as 300,000 divided by 180,000, and is sure a lot easier to write. I hope you've enjoyed this video about uh, logs and log problems. Um, once you get the hang of this type of problem, it really uh, goes by very quickly. Um, typing them into your calculator is the next step on all of these. Stay tuned uh, for the next video. I'll go over how to do this in a variety of different calculators. Uh, have a good day.